Gooseworks gave us four new leaks for the Amazing Digital Circus with the last leak telling us the most about episode two. So starting with leak number one, we're given brand new information for Gummy Goose character. We know he's gonna have a huge role in this next episode, and now we know everything about his story. You see, a fan ended up asking Gooseworks for more information about this character specifically, asking, does Gummy Goo ride a horse in episode two like a proper cowboy? To which Gooseworks actually confirms to us early that he's actually not a cowboy, but you'll learn all about that in the episode, leading us still needing to know what Gummy Goo actually is. And it turns out, we finally know the full story. You see, on top of this early clue, Gooseworks gave us another hint that fully wraps up who and what Gummy Goo is actually supposed to be. This new hint started with another fan's question of, can you give us a random line from any of the new characters? To which Gooseworks gives us the line, Nar. But what exactly would this even tell us about Gummy Goo? Well, it turns out this piece of information was enough to tell us that one of these new characters is meant to be Australian. As we know, Nar is the word no with an Australian accent. That could very well be why she decided to make a specific reference to Australia in one of her other response posts. I work on Australian hours while living in America, so my social life has pretty much evaporated. And out of all the Australian character options, Gummy Goo's character sticks out perfectly as matching this description. We know because Gummy Goo being Australian actually fits together with the other clue Gooseworks gave us about him. He's not meant to be a cowboy, but something else. A Royal Australian Guard. But how do we know? Well, the real Royal Australian Guards have almost an identical styled hat to the one we see Gummy Goo in, and we also know that him being a royal guard matches up with the fact that there is literally a princess character in episode 2 that he'd be able to protect. He did happen to be the one character keeping guard over the entire Candy Canyon Kingdom, standing right in front of the gate in the earlier teaser where the rest of the circus members are going to try to enter through telling us Gummy Goo is gonna have an Australian accent, he's gonna be the main guard of the kingdom, and his role is going to be to serve the princess. But as for leak number two, it turns out Gooseworks gave us a bit of a spoiler for Ragatha's future episode as well. You see, a fan ended up asking a seemingly normal question of, outside of Kinger, who is the closest member of the circus to going insane? To which Gooseworks tells us, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. But what does this even have to do with Ragatha? Well, we know that out of all the main cast members from the pilot, Ragatha's character is the one that seems the least likely to actually go crazy. The one character Gooseworks described as secretly being the closest one to going insane outside of Kinger, as she's the one we'd least expect. She seemed very friendly and helpful to Pomni in the beginning of the pilot, and only really had issues when she had to deal with the abstracted Kaufma. But having her secretly labeled by Gooseworks as the crazy one actually matches up with what we've already seen for episode 2. We were already given an early teaser that, what do you know, shows Ragatha having a bit of a crazy meltdown over something. Totally different from what we saw with her in the pilot. And this idea of characters acting completely different in future episodes is also backed up by the fact Gooseworks already told us that Pomni's character would be this way too. That basically there's a whole new side of Pomni that we didn't really get to see in the pilot, but we will still get to see eventually. And we know that for Ragatha's future episode starring her character, we're going to be seeing the inner struggles and problems Ragatha deals with behind the scenes. As Gooseworks already told us, exploring each of the characters deeper is really what the show is going to be about. And we're given even more information about this Ragatha episode following a fan asking Gooseworks, how does Ragatha handle stressful situations? Genuine question, I need answers. To which Gooseworks gives us the very important answer of internalizing. This tells us that we're probably going to be seeing this new side of Ragatha in her episode that shows us the problem she's going to be dealing with. Basically, this answer of internalizing reveals that Ragatha is likely going to be very isolated and get burnt out 
through all the problem solving she's going to be taking care of in the circus. We know that these future episodes are supposed to be pretty sad, at the very least. But it turns out leak number three is even more sad, as it tells us what's going to end up happening with Gangle's character in episode two. We were given a little easter egg Gooseworks left in that revealed a hidden meaning behind Gangle's name. According to a user from Pennsylvania, US, the name Gangle is of fiction origin and means my comedy mask is broken which seems to be Gooseworks' way of confirming to us what's going to end up happening to Gangle in episode 2. We know that earlier she posted an image of Gangle, who, for once, was actually wearing a new happy comedy mask, but this update towards her name's true meaning reveals that, just like in the pilot, this new mask probably isn't going to last long either. What Gooseworks was trying to hint at by including the caption, Pomni look out behind you, as it's likely Pomni is going to end up bumping into this happy version of Gangle, and again, break her mask causing her to be sad the rest of episode 2. But as for the most important leak, it turns out Gooseworks gave us an update towards the main character of episode 2 as well. You see, we were already told to be expecting this main character to be someone new in episode 2, but we were never told who exactly this main character would be. We got a massive confirmation for this character with a fan's question of, are the new guys all mostly NPCs, or are they new suckers too? As this would include all the new characters we're supposed to be seeing in episode 2. Gooseworks ended up responding with, they're all NPCs, which actually clears up the whole main character mystery for us. Assuming all these new characters aren't supposed to be too important in any way, we can assume that the next main character is supposed to be someone completely different. Gooseworks did end up confirming behind the scenes that coming up with ideas and new character designs is her favorite part of the job, meaning making more of these new character designs would match this description. And it turns out we're even given an update towards what exactly this new main character is meant to look like as well, as she additionally told us that for these newer characters, she tends to make more simple designs for how they end up. Pretty similar to some of her early sketches that show tons of detail to how the characters are all created behind the scenes. But it turns out we're also given early leaks for episode 2 that start with revealing the actual villain of the episode for us. For starters, we were given a first look into the Fudge Monster's role in the new episode, as we weren't actually given much information about his character originally. What is his true role in the next episode? And it turns out we finally saw more of this character after all, that connected to another villain from a movie that Gooseworks told us she took inspiration from. Basically, this other villain told us everything we needed to know about this new episode 2 villain, and I'm able to put together these details for you, as well as revealing who this secret villain is, all in this video right here. So for everything we're told about episode 2 early, make sure to check it out.